No doubt, one of the teams with a legitimate guy. Everybody thinks they've got a shot to win the Super Bowl, but we're here to burst most teams' bubbles. You have no shot. <laughs> this team has a real shot, loaded on both sides of the rock, very well coached, great engaged fan base, terrific stadium. We're talking about the Cardinals, obviously, and we're joined by, well, he's not quite a safety. He plays a little bit all over the map, but it's his birthday. Birthday boy, Dayon Buchanan is with us here on Tiki and Tierney. Happy 24th, pal. How are you feeling today? <laughs> I appreciate that. I'm feeling great. I uh, appreciate you guys having me on. Did Coach Arians give yeah. you a day off a little bit today because uh, it's your birthday or no? <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, we, we talk about this Cardinals squad and how fantastic you've been over the last couple of years, but preseason seems a little bit rough. Are you guys worried about some of the lack of execution in the preseason so far? Hey, uh, no, no, not definitely not. I mean, um, of course, you know, n nobody likes to lose. You know, we go out to win the game each and every day, uh, and each and every time we step onto that field. But um, um, we're not, uh, we're not gonna put too much weight into the uh, the preseason. And uh, of course, we want to do better, and we're gonna continue to to do better and strive to uh, to, to play the type of game that we want to play as Cardinals. It's Card that's Cardinals football. But um, uh, we're definitely not. Uh, we're not worried about it, and uh, we understand that you know it's different guys getting out there, and we, we just need to be. Um, just uh, more in tune, and uh, I mean, within the plays that we get, you know, that's the only thing we can control is, you know, the plays that I get, and then, you know, once they tell me I'm out, I'm out, you know, and, uh, you know, I respect their decision, and after that, you know, it's all up to the, um, to the guys that take on the game, so, I mean, I feel like we've been, uh, we've been doing good, we have, we've got, we've had some good things, we've had some bad things, you know, uh, I feel like just ups and downs of football. Well, it's a good thing that those don't count, that's what the preseason is for. Uh, even if even if it is a it, a long uh, process, now, I'm interested with you specifically because you come in as a safety, you play a little linebacker. I mean, your job has got to be very difficult because you could be in, end up anywhere. But it's also right. you're valuable to your coordinator because you can end up anywhere. Yeah, yeah, uh, no, nah, it's um it's an awesome situation. Um, uh, I say every every time, you know, every day I wake up, you know, I'm just I'm just thankful to God for the opportunity because He put me in the perfect place. If I'm just gonna be honest, um. You know, uh, they they came and they honestly just made they made a spot for me. You know, and allowed me to to uh, to be just. The, the type of player that I want to be, you know, uh, to be able to go out there and have the freedom to just roam around and, and honestly just hit people. And, uh, you know, I couldn't ask for a better place, a uh, better place to be. You know, it's, it's, it's interesting you position that that way because it seems like um, this Arizona Cardinals team under Bruce Arians is a lot like that. He finds the best out of all of his players. You see it with Matthew, uh, Matthew your safety, um, guys, a guy who a lot of people thought was a problem child and wasn't going to make it, but here he is thriving. Is that a function, really, of Coach Arians and what he's building there? Right, right. Yeah, uh, you hit around the head. You know, uh, Coach Coach Arians. He he honestly he does bring out the best in you. You know, and just the type of type of person he is, and the type of coach that he is, and uh, he treats you as a as family, not just not just a, a just a regular player. You know, um, uh, and that's that's honestly just what. What what separates him from just every other uh, a lot of other coaches that I've had? I mean, there's other coaches that I've had that are really close to me that that have the same type of vibe, and uh, those are the ones that you're closest with, the ones that treat you like family. And uh, you know, every time you go out and strap it up on Sunday, you just want to fight and you want to be the best that you can for them. And uh, like you said, Tyron Matthew, you know, um, shoot, his play speaks for himself. You know, he's the best. He's the best to do it. You know, and. Um, Shoot, you know, I mean, I'm I'm super I'm super happy. I've been I was super happy for him when he when he got his new contract and and uh, he deserves every 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 penny he gets because um, that's just the type of player and that's just the type of playmaking ability he brings every Sunday. We're talking to Dayon Buchanan of the Cardinals with us here on Tiki and Tierney CBS Sports Radio. So we said it's your birthday, still a young pup, 24. You don't remember the days and Tiki played in them when the Giants and basically everybody else in the NFL held. They could have probably brought college teams in there and beat them in a rundown college stadium, and there was no fan interest. The team was terrible. They didn't get free agents. It seems now, um, and I feel like the Cardinal fan base is vastly underrated when you talk about the top fan base in the end. You know, you hear about the Packers and the Steelers and the Cowboys. Uh -huh. The Cardinal fans are awesome. Explain, just describe what it's like to be a Cardinal right now. It's got to be pretty awesome. All right. Oh no, that is just crazy, you know. And we have the best fans in the world. You know, every time we go into that uh, University of Phoenix Stadium, it's a uh, 
it's just a real feeling, you know, because they, you know, everybody's in red and you know everybody's chanting our rise up, rest. So it's it's just you know something that I've never experienced before, you know, uh, um, you know, going to going to the NFL, you know, it's just something when I first went out there, you know, the, the fans, you know, um, they just saw so much support, you know, and uh, it's, it's honestly just it's crazy, you know, we're truly blessed. I mean, uh, each and every time uh, we we run out there, to run out to the tunnel, you know, they got the fire going, you know. I mean, they treat us, I don't know, they treat, they treat us, uh, they treat us, they treat us real well, you know. And uh, we couldn't ask for better fans, and you know, um, shoot, we just want to. That's an even more reason why we want to win. Well, we want to win this trophy for them. No, I feel you, and, nice. and and you got some old heads on the other side of the ball. I know it's it's mostly you, you, foc- you focus on the uh, the defensive side, but mm-hmm. you know Carson Palmer and Larry Fitzgerald. Do you think about those guys, um, their windows? You know, we talk about in in sports, you get your window to win a championship is this. Mm-hmm. Do you guys think about that? Because those guys could be retired in a couple of years, and if you don't get one now, uh, you might have to rebuild a little bit. Yeah, I, uh, I mean, I, I mean, me personally, I don't, I don't think about um, their windows because I mean, then person not me, but at the same time, I don't, I can't, I'm not gonna put a tab on how long a person's gonna play, you know. And yeah, uh, honestly, um, uh, shoot, Larry and, and Carson, I mean, they shoot, they playing at the top of the game, you know. I mean, if you want to go back, you know, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Carson this last year was one of his best years that he's had in his career, and also the same with Larry. So I mean. Um, you know, I, I honestly, I think they're, just, they're continuing to get better each and every year. You know, and uh, I mean, they're the leader, the leadership they bring, and just the um, the type of mentality and the type of personality that they bring into the locker room, and and just you know, held holding everybody accountable. You know, and uh, that's just really what what matters and what and what we need. Uh, what and what that's why I look up to them as leaders is because that's what they bring, and uh, they bring out the best in every single player, including me. And and so I mean, uh, like I said, I don't. I don't know how long, you know, they they intend to play themselves, but I hope they play as long as they can because I'll, I'll be on any team with them. There you go. Well said. Dayon Buchanan with us here on Tiki and Tierney. So, Dayon, let's get off the field for a sec. One of the big stories uh, that's really just swallowed up, not just the sports world, but the entire – every conversation seems to be about somebody in your division. That's Colin Kaepernick, mm-hmm. his decision uh, not to stand for the national anthem. What was your reaction to that? Oh, uh, Honestly, I don't really have a comment about it. Um um, shoot, I'll probably be the best thing. I don't really have a comment about it either way. I'm, um, honestly, I didn't really, I didn't hear it. I didn't even hear about it until, um, shoot, a couple, yesterday or so. Um, so, I mean, uh, it's, uh, I don't really, I don't know what the reason is. I don't know really what the whole situation is. So, probably best for me not to comment. Let me ask you this. I'll, I'll keep it to you then. When you, before a game, you hear the national anthem, what does it mean to you? Uh, you know, I mean, it's showing our nation respect, you know. Um, but, I mean, it means a lot to me because I come from a military family, you know. My mom and my dad uh, served in the military. So, you know, um, just that that's just something, you know, my mom and dad fought for. They, you know, my mom was in the military for 23 years. My dad was in the Marine Corps. So, wow. you know, that's just, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I was a military kid growing up. So, I mean, so I'm, that's surpri- I'm thought, surprised yeah. that, that, that you don't have more of a reaction to what Kaepernick did. Your parents are in military background. That surprises me. I mean, you know, I mean, it's not that I don't have a reaction, but I mean, everybody has their own um, their own reasons, you know. So you can't jump into somebody else's mind when you don't fully understand. Mm-hmm. So it would be uh, it would be rude of me if I were to have an opinion and it would be totally off base because it could be something that he believes in personally, you know. And I'm not I'm never going to knock somebody's beliefs. Yeah, I do respect that. Yeah, especially not having had That's a chance fair. to talk to him. You know, it's exactly. one of those things. When you, if you talk to a guy, you get to understand him a little bit, and maybe it makes some more sense. But exactly. Uh, until that time, you just you, you go and do what you do best, which is play safety, play linebacker, play wherever they need you. And it seems celebrate like. that yeah. birthday, man. So love it. You're 20. Are you married or single? No, I'm single. Hey, man. He's still, in, right he's, now, he's, he's still in training camp. Hey, hey stop, stop. <laughs> Forget BT. about training camp, man. He's still in training go camp. Go out there and do what us married guys with kids can't do. Get out there and rip it up tonight on your birthday, man. Have a little fun for us old heads, all right? Don't listen, don't listen to him. Don't listen <laughs> no, to him. Don't do Dayo. listen to me. <laughs> Have a good one, man. Good Happy luck. Happy birthday, pal. I appreciate you guys having me. Be well. Nice. He's a good player. Good kid, too.